Hello everybody, it's me again. Um, as you watch my channel a lot, you know I'm always on the lookout for things to do with the uh, the, Nets, the Nano and the Xavier. And uh, I'm always looking for some new software I'd like to try and run on them. Well, I came across this, uh, this another one, uh, this software here, and it's a, it's an HD, it's a uh, web-based SCADA HMI system. It's called uh, Quick HMI. And uh, it's it's pretty nice. Like I have it set up here, running right here. And this is just the one of the screens I made. And uh, I've got it hooked to the Nano and the PLC. As you can see, here's the controls. I've got the feed coming in from my deep stream feed coming into it. And uh, and I also got it hooked up to this. I got an Allen Bradley. Uh, Control Logics PLC hooked up to it. And it's also hooked up to that. If you notice, like if I put stop here, see here's the numbers. It's counting. It's it's counting this. So I push stop here. It stops it. So uh, you know you can control the PLC. You can control all kinds of things. And so let's go ahead and start it. See it starts back up. So we got to control our PLC. And then also. Uh, I VNC'd into my, this is the, I have a Xavier running. So I VNC'd into it. And uh, as you can see, there's the server. I, this this is actually loaded onto the uh, Xavier NX. And it's running as a service, as a server. So here's the server that's running the program. It's running this program. But it's actually running, I'm on my Windows development computer. That's what this one's hooked up to. And uh, let's see. So I'm VNC'd into my uh, Xavier, and so I'm running the my server for this application on the left on my Windows. It's running there. Um, I I'm running MQTT, so I have Mosquito running on there. I'm also uh, uh, have a, a, a uh, streaming out my RSTP stream. Like I say, this is running the DeepStream application. Um, so uh, I'm doing that in my S, uh, FFF server. Over here, I'm doing my conversion from uh, uh, RTSP to HTML, and that's how it's showing up in here. And then right here is, uh, this is just the MQTT results when I, when I uh, let's move this over here. That's how I'm uh, messaging back and forth into the, uh, my NX. I use an MQTT. And so what I do is I go over here, and this is how I select uh, the items to be recorded over here. So, uh, you know, if I want to do keyboard or whatever like that, I think a person is, uh, let's just try, uh, what's this, 32. And if you come down here, you'll see, once I met, I, I put it, enter it here, it shows up on the uh, Xavier. So that's how I'm talking to the, uh, the uh, Xavier by MQTT. So that's about it here. I'll, let me show you. This is a really nice. What I like about this software is um, here's the uh, uh, how you build it right here. So this is a, when you build that application. This is an application I had built in. And uh, what's nice is like right here, this is an HTML viewer. And uh, you can run the scripts in here. And that's what's running the, the, the image. I'm using my HTML viewer to capture the the, the image from the uh, from the Xavier, and then showing it up in there. Let's see if we can get it. And it should run here. So it's running, and then uh, I've got some. Uh, I do a lot of connections. I've got my data databases. I've got a let's see data sources. I've got an Allen Bradley data source. You know, I've got this, and there's all kinds of, you can look, there's all these, these are all the data sources you can access. So, you can do those. Um, let's close this. i am also got an MQT, I'm accessing my MQTT. I'm asked at my Mosquito server, my Mosquito broker, excuse me, that's on the NX. Uh, let's see, let's close this. So, as you can see, um... You know, and you have a lot of stuff over here you can play with. Buttons and lamps and motors and, you know, this, so I kind of like this is a nice interface for you can run a PLC. Or, uh, um, 
you know, a lot of things. So what this is, is it's this. It's a quick HMI. It's a, this is a, a company in Germany. Um, this is the, all the things they have. This is the additions they have. You know, you can get the, they have a community edition, a private edition. That's what I'm running right now. Um, basic and professional. And what's nice about this is these are priced very good. Now with this, what I like about this is you buy the software and you can run as many a copy of these as, as you want. You're only paying for the development software, so that's that's nice, you know. And uh, you can only to do. Let's say if you want to do a uh, a, a, a you know a product to sell, you'd get the basic this, the basic right here, and uh, you know you can do all your stuff. And you like I say, you just have to make your develop one item, and you can run your service services for free as many as you want. So that's pretty good. And uh, okay, you can run it on on uh, the 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 developer runs on Windows, but everything else will run on the uh, uh, Linux system. You see, these are these are the community edition that's free. Um, this is the editor one, and this way you can get the professional or the private one. Um, these are the runtime version. So if you just want to run it, that does this. Now a lot of these have a, a Linux installations. You have the standalone viewer. You run that. So but this is the one I have. This what this right here is is this right here. Let me see if I can move this over. That's what this is here. This is the server running on the uh, uh, the, the NX. And a, a lot of it, uh, they have documentation to install all this on Linux system. So I basically just used all this and I installed it on my NX, and it works just fine. But anyway, what I'm going to be doing is, uh, you know, and let's see what else here. Let's go back here. So, but these are all the, uh, every, all the, the, what they provide, all this stuff right here. You know, of course, the, the higher one you get, you know, the more you get. But like I say, you only have to pay for the development software. You don't have to pay for the runtime licenses. So this is nice. Because if you want to develop something and you want to make a bunch of them, this is the one you want. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, my next couple uh, tutorial I'm going to do, it's going to be on how to set this up, how to set you know, the Mosquito uh, MQTT server on the NX, how to access it, how to... Um, you know, uh, I've got some Python programs that run DeepStream and that will access the MQTT information going back. So you can choose uh, items to choose and they'll display up on, on the screen. So so stay tuned. I'm going to have more coming. But I just want to show you this uh, this product right here. It's, it's really nice. And like I say, they've got a community edition. So, you know, we all love that. Well, all right. Well, thank you very much. And stay tuned for more. Bye.